Hey, what's up you guys, it's Rocky here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to install CentOS 7 into VMware Fusion. And let's get straight into it. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is open up VMware Fusion and also go to the photo that you have your ISO image for CentOS. So if you don't have the image, go to CentOS.org And once you get there, go to Get CentOS Now and go ahead and download your image. I'm going to be using the DVD ISO. Uh, this is about five gig. So go ahead and download that. And once you do that, come back uh, to this step now. So once you have done that, let's go ahead and open up VMware Fusion. And we're going to hit the plus button and hit new. And we're going to go ahead and drag over the ISO image we downloaded into the window. And we're going to hit continue. Leave everything as to legacy BIOS, and you can customize the settings, which I will do now. And let's go ahead and give it a name, CentOS Test. Okay, and pick your location. I store mine in a folder that I have with all my other machines. And I'm gonna come in and upgrade mine to four processors. And I'm going to give mine four gigs of RAM I'm just doing this to make it a little bit faster. You, uh, I think you only need, they recommend two gigabytes of RAM for CentOS 7, if I'm not mistaken. I will put a pop-up on the screen with the correct information. So display, make sure you have Accelerate 3D graphics. This will make the graphics much smoother and go to the recommended settings. Okay. And if you want to be on the same network, be sure that you have uh, Bridge Networking on. Basically, this allows you to communicate between your local network and the network of the uh, server you're going to be installing or the machine. And we're going to go over and check the sound. Uh, you can connect sound if you want to, printers, cameras, you can share folders. Uh, this is pretty much all we're doing for this video. Okay, go ahead and close out and hit play. And we're gonna go straight into install CentOS 7. Okay, I'm going to be staying with English. And this part is automatic. So we're gonna choose your software. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Genome Desktop. And that's all I'm going to install. Okay, let's go uh, to the device we're gonna choose. Make sure this is all good. Let's hit done there. Come down to your disk. Uh, for, if you didn't know, you could adjust how much space this is gonna take. I left mine at the default, which is 20 gigs, but if you need more space or less space, just go ahead and adjust to what you needed. That would be back inside the previous menu. Okay, so we picked our disk. And I'm going to not install a security uh, policy now. Let's go ahead and enable the ethernet. Uh, this will make sure your internet is enabled. If you do not uh, change this, this will not work. So I'm gonna hit done. We're going to disable KDOM. And you don't have to do that, but I did it just to save time. Go ahead and click begin installation. Let's give it a password. Okay. And let's give it a username. Make this Administrator, let's give it a password. Okay, and now we just have to sit back and wait.
okay guys and we're all done so you might have this issue where it does not show the reboot a button but go ahead and try to click over here to the right and to reboot the machine okay just go ahead and hit enter okay let's go ahead and accept the license finish configuration and we should be able to log in ah. okay you guys and that's pretty much it if you have any questions let me know I'm going to be making a series on Linux videos and administration I'm pretty much studying uh, for my Linux Plus test and I'm going to go ahead and get that certification so if you guys got any questions for me just let me know inside the comment section and I'll get straight to them and I'll catch you guys inside the next one.